baloney. Uh, where's the stream? <laughs> it says we're offline. It says we're live now. Uh, we are what live. Are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? I don't know, man. Uh, we got magic. Yeah, we do. It's back. So, so I had an idea. Okay. Okay. So, you hear that, Thomas? I do. Okay. I don't know what that is. So, for dog fun- treats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You've been such a good boy. Oh, I know I have. <laughs> so, uh, I was at the pre-release. The other day, which if okay. anybody is interested in hearing about the pre-release, you should check out Tom and Josh's coverage of it on Dog and Thimble podcast. Yeah, you should. It's a pretty good time. It was good. But I was not there. I was at my own pre-release. And they were running a deal on the Planeswalker decks. And I had credit <laughs> left over. So I was like, what the heck? I'll get two Planeswalker decks. Whoa. So I got the Ral and the Vraska deck from this new Guilds of Ravnica set. And lo and behold, inside of the decks was a code to add it to Magic Arena. Whoa. So I thought we could maybe just like give it a run. Yeah. In constructed event. That sounds perfectly reasonable. Uh... All right. So I've got all sorts of decks. Would you like us to run Planeswalker deck Ral or Planeswalker deck Vraska? Uh, I think Ral, purely because I think he looks like a swarthy gentle, yeah, swarthy gentleman. Would you like to see what's in it? Yeah, sure. All right. Actually, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's do it. All right. We're going to see it. All right. So, maximum altitude, pass while adept, but Dalkin mesmerist, fire urchin, goblin and electromancer, leapfrog. Direct current, fearless habadier, precision bolt, sonic assault, wee dragonauts, chemister's insight, muse dragon, erratic cyclops, rumble belt boar, ral static caster, omnispell adept, ral's dispersal, command the storms, hell kite whelp, and ral color of storms. Hmm. So are we just running this as is, or are we doing any tinkering with it? Some kinkering, you say? Yeah, yeah kinkering for the erotic cyclops. <laughs> Cannot be unseen. No. <laughs> uh, maybe run it as is. Let's yeah. Let's just give one. Let's let's do our best with what we've been given. Hey, that's how we do. Yeah. Alright. So we will play that constructed event. I was playing a little Boros earlier. Alright. Choose our deck. Oh, and I was also playing some Blue Mill. It was very funny. <laughs> How'd that work out? Uh, it sometimes worked. <laughs> that sounds about right for Mill. It really depends on how screwed they are for mana. <laughs> That's normally not a good sign. I know. I was at like, that point, you're winning anyway. Right. I was like, I'm winning, but I don't deserve it. Oh, young Houdini. I preferred his work when he was older. Oh my gosh, all the gates. Yep, and an erratic cyclops with not a single instant or sorcery to take advantage of it. So we've got all the fearless halberdiers. I think so. I gotta say, that seems like a weird include for a deck for Ral. <laughs> like, right. isn't this supposed to be like a visit deck? I'd expect more spell slinging than right. halberdiering. A bit, a bit more jump starting. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna play another Is It Guild game. I'm fine with that. Yeah, you are. My help. So this halberdier is going to die immediately. Mm-hmm. Ooh, prison bolt. I just realized I called it the prison bolt. Mm-hmm. Earlier. <laughs> yeah. 
It's okay. You also said it was an uh, Azure Dragon when it was clearly a Drake. Oh, whatever. One has legs. The other one does not. That is really cool. I mean, I don't think it's going to help us, but... <laughs> so, what do you think? Do I... Do I bolt? Oh, that's a sorcery. That's garbage. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, man. Um, hmm. It's much... It, it is strictly, strictly worse lightning bolt. It's a strictly worse wizard's lightning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Well, if we put out the erratic cyclops, we just block everything for days. Sure. And we can trade with their bigger thing. Well, they would block with their sentinel, right? Well, that's if we attack. Are we attacking? I don't think we're attacking. Yeah. I think we just want to hold back and maybe... We get them with our next play somehow. Yep. We could turn the erratic cyclops into a three eight. Mm-hmm. Cool. So That's I started a... uh, putting together a new commander deck. Tell me more. Tell me uh, more. Like, does it have a car? It doesn't it is uh a it is an isic deck <laughs> but it has no vehicles uh it does not so um, i actually think we block with the halberdier here you think so what if he does things with his two mana that's up then in that case we'd lose our erratic cyclops to it anyway because that's a four it's a plus four plus four trick ah yeah well it was the... That's Titanic growth. Yup. <laughs> so and anyway, I think that's just strictly better. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm uh, doing Kiranos, uh, God of Storms. Oh, I love that guy. Yeah. Uh, and I'm just trying to put a lot of good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. I, I pulled a Fireminds Research, and so I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to... I want to put in a lot of uh, instant sorceries. So yep. I'm going to have a Thousand Year Storm in there as kind of a condition. I figured if I'm going to do that, I might as well also have um, Aetherflux Reservoir in there as well. I was going to say, is that coming up? Yep. Well, I figure, yeah, you know... High Tide? Gonna... <laughs> What's High Tide? I don't know that one. High Tide is a one mana instant that whenever you tap an island for mana, it gives you two islands or it gives you two blue mana for the rest of the turn. I believe so High normally Tide is a magic treehouse book. Mm. <laughs> More you know. Oh, and I'm... Anyway. I'm, I'm going to run um, Niv-Mizzet, uh, the Firemind. Okay. And also Curiosity. Okay. So Niv-Mizzet is when it draws a card, it deals one damage to a player. Mm -hmm. and Curiosity is when you deal when it when a creature the enchanted creature deals damage it draws a card yep so just like infinite combo that shit yeah no that makes sense uh do i do i hit the Precision. sentinel yes you do uh if this is just the I, I i think that's just the best thing we can do there and then we possibly just attack in with the squad yeah if he wants to trade either his Highland game or both of his other dudes for yeah. our Halberdier, I think we're okay with that. Mm -hmm. So much value. Mm -hmm. So what you want to bet that the next drop is a land for us? Um, Seems likely. Yeah. Flood incoming. Nope. Hey. Nope. We got a, we got a man. We got a, a or a, a, we got a. Good I don't know boy. how it identifies. We got a good boy. Boy is yeah. a gender neutral term. Mm hmm. We got a new friend. New friend. New friend. Fire urchin. Meet erotic cyclops. <laughs> you can't not see it. Oh, that's bad. Uh, well, I mean, we still block it. Yeah. But... We just need some, like, 
some bit good ouchies at this point. It would also be nice if we had literally any draw. For real. Of course. Yep. Of course. That makes sense. Why wouldn't you have that? <laughs> so far, this deck is not looking great, bud. Nope. Sure not. <laughs> I think we might lose. I think you are right. I think we may be running at an O and, uh, well, we're not going to win any is the point. He's not attacking with it. He's only attacking with I the I still want to block him. <laughs> I want to send a message. <laughs> hmm. Well, that doesn't do anything now. Well, it's also uh, not an instant, so we get no value from it. Let me get plus one. <laughs> okay. So he well, blocks with his lane and wares. Nope. Was never going to happen. He doesn't care about his life. He needs that land if he draws. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying uh, to think of what would be at this level. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And that's the gay. Nice. Give him that life back. <laughs> yeah. Gonna take it away now. Stealing it from him. And now we can see. The scoop. <laughs> oh my gosh, this deck is bad. It's super bad. Ooh. Oh boy. Now, if we wanted to, I do have, like, from doing the beta, I do have the, like, copy of the good route. Oh yeah, I, I also have him, but I don't. I don't think we can sideboard him in, can we? Nope. Yep, we locked in our deck, mm -hmm. our bad bad deck. I don't think the kids are getting fed this time, Tom. No, I think the kids are actually going to be dead. That's oh. what happens if you go if you get no wins. Ooh, I like Sonic Assault. Mm. I played in a draft uh, this last weekend. Mm -hmm. And one dude got three of those. It was wild. Oof. Yeah. That sounds miserable. I mean, it worked really well, and I still... Let's see. Uh, I tied him. We ran out of time on that one. Ah. Uh, look at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ended up going 1-1-1 one, one, one on that one. And pulled an <laughs> Assassin's Trophy in my prize pack. Ah, so you just made your money back. Exactly. It was like a, 15, <laughs> it was like a $15... Uh, buy in and it was like thirteen fifty. they gave me for that so i was like sure yeah might as well yeah and now if it had been foil then like i would have made money on that yeah oh man that deep, would have been nice that deep root hmm. um we got a goblin electromancer you think we do that over uh, urchin uh, i'm not sure i'm fine with either I feel like that just because that one at least survives a... Right, uh, it's probably getting a plus one, plus one counter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, and then next turn we're probably just going to bolt him anyway if he grows. He didn't grow. Nope. Hmm. Attack and see what happens. That's not my smartest plan. <laughs> it's not a smart plan, but we're doing it. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> I hate that the Planeswalker decks have specific raw pulls. Like, if they could just say, pull a raw Planeswalker, yeah. it would be so much better. So, are we going to bolt one of these homies? Probably Harold of the Secret Streams. Yeah, because that guy's a guy, pain. That guy's butts. Mm hmm. He's tapped out. So I'm going to attack with both. Yep. Because we're just trying to be fast. Mm hmm. This deck does not have staying power. Nope. God, this, is, this just makes me mad. In the precision vaults. Yup. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. 
I do like that he played a deep root champion and has not done any non-creature spells. No. Uh, also, the fact that he did not... He paid five mana for that Silver Gill Adept, I think. Ugh. Which is not what you want to be doing with a Silver Gill Adept. Mm-mm. So I'm guessing he had n- no Merfolk in hand either. So I right. think he just had land. Huh. I think... I think I draw some cards. All right. Give our fire urchin friend an extra, extra two mana or extra power. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. Sure. Oof. <laughs> Are you worried? No. You scared? I mean, I'm always worried, Chris. That's fair. I, I I enjoy magic as a game, but it always stresses me out. <laughs> hmm. Come on, explore twice. I dare you. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Well, you're getting bolted. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Or. Or. I was gonna say, do we want to save the bolt for the uh, the Merfolk Lord that's on top of his library and is definitely gonna come down next turn? Uh huh. Um. Hmm. 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 Or. Well, yeah, that comes down next turn, but that means. That's only a 2-2. Two, two. I could jumpstart the the altitude mm-hmm. to get a 3-3 three, three in the air. And a 2-4, oh no, a 2-3 on the I ground. Need... Huh. You can also just command the storm one of these things. I think I'm just going to kill him. Can I kill him? Yeah, I think I can kill him. Yep. You saw the line. Well done. I did not see the line. <laughs> That's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, I got it. Where is it? Right. There it was. Hooray. Look at that, Tom. Not a zero in whatever. Yeah. Never didn't have it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the kids don't die now. No, they eat crumbs at this point. They eat sand. Oh, that sounds worse. <laughs> the dying? I don't know, man. Look, it starts, the kids die, then they eat sand, and then they eat crumb. Okay, cool, cool. So we're playing against KXY. Uh, I believe that is a um, discontinued lubricant. <laughs> keeping it. Keeping it real. Oh. Boop. So this deck, both I did check, both decks come with a full set of guild gates. That's nice. Surprise, surprise, no shock lands. Yep, that also makes sense. Yep. That would be too valuable. Yeah, that would be pretty good. <laughs> uh, if you control a route, playing Twilight. See, at least this one says, oh. Uh, what can I do? Well, with, what can I do with that? Nothing. We can't even bolt it. I know. Super dumb. Um, I mean, in two turns, we can play out Hellkite Whelp, and then we can Hellkite Whelp and Precision Bolt it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that's our whole turn. That's three turns, my dude. Yeah. That, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be our whole turn when that's a relevant play. Mm-hmm. We could play in, we could attack with the Goblin Electromancer, hope he blocks, and then bolt it. I mean, might as well, right? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we're taking a lot of damage. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Nope. <laughs> He's too smart. Yep. He also saw the line. Yep. 
Oh, oh come Jesus on. Jesus Christ, man. That's just not even sporting. I'm pretty sure I was playing this deck before rotation. <laughs> uh, if he plays out a uh, the horse with hex proof, then he is Vimeer. definitely playing that deck. Yeah, he's your, he's your boy. Yep. Because this is literally just the only deck I played prior to rotation of this, because it was incredibly cheap to build. Sure, it's got Gigantosaurus's Steel Leaf Champions. <sighs> And vine mares as like the only creatures, and then Tom, a Tom, yeah, a third, yeah, like no, this isn't happening. Yeah, we just got rocked. <laughs> I think we may actually need to build a competitive deck, Chris. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna have this a lot. Oh no, we had one good one. Uh, yeah, we had one good matchup against someone using the pre-built green-white. Yup. So I just realized I'm not playing any music, so let's see if I can find some copyright-free music. That's fine. Whatever we want to do. We don't need music. We're entertaining enough. That's true. Mm. Corporate uplifting royalty-free music. Corporate uplifting. Yeah, let's do, let's see what this is. I swear, it better be hold music. What do you think, Thomas? I think this is no good. I can't even hear it. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm talking about the de the hand. Oh, no, the hand is very bad. You gotta pull into... Oh, well, sure. Yep, that'll be fine. Uh... <laughs> Bottom it. We don't need blue. <laughs> We're not gonna we show him our blue. now, boys. Well, shit. I lied. <laughs> In my defense, there was no way for me to have known that. There it is. Never See, punished. it wasn't punished either. I'm never gonna know where is it. Until the exact moment that we reveal the fact that we are indeed is it. He'll be Oof. asking, is it, is it? We Dragonauts. I think that may just be better than the Leapfrog. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool Dragon Boys. I have no idea what this deck is. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I can't believe you have to pay three for that. Yeah. That's just Garbo. That's the thing. I, when I went to the pre release, nobody was playing, is it? Oh, really? Yeah, I think four people were playing Is It out of a bunch. Like, most people were playing Golgari, presumably in the hope that they'd just pull a foil assassin's trophy. Right. But no one else was. So, uh, no one else was really playing Is It. So, so here's so. something interesting. My mm -hmm. I was talking with uh, my local uh, game store peeps, and yeah. they had two people pull... Um, promo Assassin's Trophies. Wow. And nobody has wanted to buy it because it's they, it's got the like stamp on it. <laughs> well, like, that's fun. They want the foil, but they want the uh, non... Non-promo? Yeah. That's That seems weird, strange. right? Yeah, I mean, it's ultimately the same card, so yeah. what's your problem? Right. Oh, we, we Draken. Yeah. Is he Drake? He's a dragon man. I, I just don't even know. I know you don't, but that's okay. <laughs> the way to tell is that dragons have legs. Like four of them. Mm -hmm. Drakes only have two because they're more like birds. Their arms are like in their wings. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> At least I think that's correct. Hmm. 
Hmm, I feel like there's a trap coming, but here's what we're doing. Nope. You just did that. That's fine. Still could be. Here comes the plague mare. Right. Nope. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> we would have gotten blown out <laughs> so badly. Uh, I think we just play out the leapfrog. Yeah, that sounds about right. Just have it on board. Woo! Uh, and, uh... Just hold back. <laughs> the classic, is it control? Exactly. <laughs> Against Golgari Aggro. Hmm. There he is. Hmm. Mm. Enjoy that text notification. Mm-hmm. I think I put that out. And I attack with the whelp. Oh, well, this does nothing. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Sure. Get all tricksy. What could he possibly have? Uh, Plague Mare. Yeah? Yep, but I am I think we block with the Leapfrog anyway, potentially. Yeah, kind of thinking that. I mean, if he has Plague Mare, he has Plague Mare. Sure. Or if he has any of the minus anything things, then Leapfrog's just going to die. Sure, sure. Oh. Oh. What? Hello. Sure. Okay. Cool. Why? Yeah. That seems... Fine? I mean, okie dokie. But he just got rid of our Staticaster, which is not a good card, really. He's fine. Hmm. I think I just... I bolt just because. Hmm. You get in for... Do we just hit for nine and start racing? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's do it. Sure. What on earth could you possibly have in hand? There's a very real possibility. He just has nothing. True. Well, I mean, he had because of the fact that it's pausing. He has something that he could interrupt with. Yeah. Which Actually, is, which is a weird meta for this. Uh, I mean, for arena. he could also just be in full control mode. I guess. In which case, it just holds until you say to pass. Sure, sure, sure. Well, that's game. I mean, if he attacks with everyone. Oh no, it's it's game regardless oh, no. because yeah. I've, I can precision bolt his right. face and then... Yep, yeah. that makes sense. Gotcha. Look at this, Tom. We're getting two wins. <laughs> the kids will eat crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> We're very good at beating the pre-constructed decks. Hey, there we go. It was a I'm great deal for these decks, though. It was like twelve mm -hmm. bucks, which is not. Yeah. I mean, compared, it was. I think these are normally fifteen bucks. So. Mm. I mean, that's something. Oh. Cool. You got my flying leapfrog, for this it's, turn. It's gonna f go back down. It doesn't fly forever. Right. <laughs> there it is. Boop. 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 All attacks. Boop. Boop. Yep. <laughs> it did something. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Yep, sure. Boop, boop, boop. Boom. Boom. 
Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if I can just uh, it replace all the uh, sound effects from Magic Arena with just me saying boop. <laughs> I'm sure there's a mod that'll let you do that. Hey, we got a Dino Boy. Yeah, Dino Lord. Dino Lord. Boop, boop, a doop. He's a good boy. <laughs> okay. We're doing it. Yep. We're getting there. We just need Somehow. a bit more uh, pressure. Mm. Just needed those uh, two losses to really kind of motivate us to make smart decisions. Sure. <laughs> Oof. Oof. No, I don't think we can keep that. I feel this That's is better. better, yeah. Uh, not bad. I'm okay with it. Again, sure. Sure. Uh, boop. He's going to think I'm on a blue. He won't even know. <laughs> Dear Wizards of the Coast. I heard of a great new mod. It's called Let Chris Just Say Boop a Bunch. <laughs> Very effective. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, combat. All attacks. Boop. Yep. Haha. -ha. Sure. You don't get to kill us. No, we're your zomboy. <laughs> That's fine. Though he will get to attack us. But that's fine, because we're going to have Wee Dragonauts. Wee Dragonauts! Yeah. I They're do, just having so much fun. I do like the art on that. That is very, uh... It's very cute. Mm-hmm. Just two asking. guys hanging from the Death Star. Or a TIE Fighter. You may cast an instant or sorcery from your hand without paying its mana cost. So yep. when, you, when you do that, do you discard it? Yeah, you you play you basically you're playing it like uh -huh. you would play a normal card at any other time. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. This is okay. No, that's fine. Please do that. Uh, the only difference is that um, you can use that ability to cast a sorcery spell as an instant. I think. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's neat. Because it doesn't say you can only use that ability as a sorcery. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. If you do, Dunkaroo. Why'd you do that? We were having so much fun. Yeah, we're gonna lose to Golgari. There it is. There it is. I killed her. Because why not? Command of the Storm is too costly. Call I it. don't know. It kills a lot of things. But five, five mana to only be able to do that to a creature doesn't feel great. Mm -hmm. Tom, you know I am right. I, I can't agree. It is, it's expensive, but I think ultimately worth it. Yeah. At least in limited. In constructed, yeah, it might be too slow. Right. Fuck. Well. Fuck. Yeah, we just... This wasn't a game. This was just... This is just done. And we done. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was uh, that was the pre-con uh, row. Not great. Nope. <laughs> all right. Claim that prize. Yeah, look at all that. Boop. Hey, our boy. Yay. 